Under the bed is an urban legend about a family who rents a room in a cheap motel and finds something horrifying under their bed. Today we're going to be looking through the urban legend and the truth behind it. Welcome back to Urban Legends. I haven't done an Urban Legends video in a long time, so I decided to do one today. And I've gained 30 subscribers, I believe, since I created my last one. So I decided to do one today under one that I've heard of before, but I never really looked into, and it's really, really creepy. So let's get started. A family of four were on vacation and ended up renting a room in a cheap motel. When the family entered, they immediately smelled a bad odor. So the father ended up going down to the front desk and requested to speak to the manager. He then proceeded to tell the manager about the odor. The manager said that he could not get him another room because they were booked and that he would send a maid up to the room to check some things out. The family decided to go to lunch while the maid was up there and upon returning they still smelled the odor. The father ended up calling the front desk and the manager said that there was nothing he could do about the odor. The family ended up having to sleep in that room with the foul odor in it. When they woke up the smell was even worse so they decided to investigate on their own. The father then proceeded to strip the bed and when they lifted up the mattress the little boy in the family noticed a hole in the box spring, and when he looked into it, he came face to face with horror. The family realized they slept inches within a rotting corpse. There have been so many occurrences where people have found dead bodies under their motel beds. I can't get all of them today, but I will get to a few of them. The first one happened on July 10th, 2003. A man checked into the Capri Motel just east of downtown Kansas City and began complaining about a foul odor in his room. Management told him nothing could be done about the problem and he spent three nights in the room before checking out because he could no longer stand the smell. When the cleaning staff came in to make up the room on the 13th of July, they lifted the mattress and underneath found a man's body in advanced stage of decomposition. Another one happened in July of 1996. A woman's body was found under a mattress in the Colorado Boulevard Travel Lodge in Pasadena, California. Apparently, the motel staff discovered her 10 days after she had died, and only after several guests had complained about a foul odor coming from the room. The body of a 24-year-old was found under the mattress in the Traveler's Hotel near the Miami International Airport. The discovery was by a German tourist who was complaining about the bad smell in his hotel room. So there you guys have it, the urban legend of under the bed. Or should we even call it an urban legend anymore? So many bodies being found under the beds and the motel rooms, we should just count the story as being an actual real occurrence and not an urban legend. If anything, it is just based on a true story because it happens more frequently than you probably think. And if you guys are really interested in urban legends, you can check out my playlist full of them, as well as a documentary on Netflix called Killer Legends, where two people take a look at the truth behind urban legends. I think they only look about three or four of them, but it's still really interesting to watch. It's about an hour and a half, and yeah, you guys should go watch it, not sponsored. All right, with that being said, I have to go. See you later.